and we become, it's like the pond becoming or going into the Nadi, the river. Nadi mine sagar me. And so, sagar means the ocean. After this body has lived its life and it's going to take its leave, we say it has gone to the great beyond. But what if it is likened to this body which is a Nadi or the river going into the Sagar? Sagar mine kaun is jau mein koi jane na But we don't know where the water from the ocean is. Anybody? We know that from the pond the water goes to the river. Nadi Mile Sagar Me. And from the river it goes to the ocean. Do you all know where from the ocean it goes? Sagar Mile. Mile means to me. Kaunis Jal Me. Where will it go? Koi Janina. None of us knows. Ohre Ta Mile Nadi Jal Me. We don't know our final moments in this world either. And we don't know our until card at the final time what will be. And so what we know now that this opportunity presents itself, that we can become one with Bhagwan Shiva and this is the essence of bhakti. And so as we go into the prayers of Bhagwan Shiva to commence. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all once more as we get into the mood to absorb and to become one with Bhagavan Shiva. He bhakti vatsa daya ke saagar namami shunkar namami shunkar He bhakti vatsa daya ke saagar Some say that he is an incarnation. Who is Bhagavan Shiva? And so Bhagavan Shankar, Kya Tatwa hai? What is this Shiva and what is he called? Is he a Mahapurush? Is he a great person? Or ya Bhagavan Shiva, Param Purush, is he? Greater than a man. Is he a divine being? Is he a saint? And so different scripture will tell you 
different different things about Bhagavan Shiva. But tonight we want to know from Shiva Mahapuran, as it is stated that Bhagavan Shiva is supreme, he is Mahadev, and he is the greatest of all, he is Mahima, his greatness is infinite, it is untold, that words cannot explain or begin to explain the greatness of Bhagavan Shiva. Yeah, Bhagavan, he had that he is the Supreme. It is also written in our scripture that he is a Guna Avatar. So we know we have Sattva Guna, we have Raja Guna, and we have Tamu Guna. And so these Gunas are qualities of Bhagavan Shiva. Sattva Gun ki Avatar Bhagavan Vishnu hai. He represents that Sattva Gun. Raja Gun ki Avatar Bhagavan Brahma hai. Bhagavan Brahma represents this Raja Gun. But who represents Tamu Gun? Bhagavan Shiva. But he is Divya Guna. He is a divine being. He doesn't have a quality of a human being. And so this makes him great. Bhagavan Shiva Satchidananda hai. His truthfulness, his blissfulness, and his happiness. So this is Bhagavan Shiva. And so this is the Shiva that is described in the Shiva Mahapurana. We know in Shiva Puran that it gives us in the Yadyeshu Samhita the history of the emergence of the Linga. And so as we listen to this from the Shiva Puran, we want to begin by offering the Panchaksha Stutra to Bhagavan Shiva. Shall we all chant? Om Namah Shiva Om Namah Shiva Om Namah Shiva Hari Om Namah Shiva He was in meditation. 
So, don't you know Bhagavan Shiva? This is going on. Brahma thinks he is greater. And Vishnu says, no, no, no. You are originated from me and therefore I am greater. I would like to say, as we use an example from the Shiva Mahapurana, all of us are servants of Bhagavan. But what can this, this lesson, what can this Shiva Mahapurana teach, teach us? O Bhakta, O servant of Bhagavan, whenever you are in service to the Lord, none of us are higher, none of us are greater. Many of us came to Qatar tonight of different social background, different financial ability, so many different things that you can sit in one place, in one manner, and we can convene ourselves and offer ourselves to Bhagavan Shiva. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Who is greater? And who is low? Can you all give yourselves a round of applause for that? That we understand this is how great Qatar is. It brings us together. And once we're together, nothing can separate us. Do you all understand that? Once we're together, nothing separates us. And uh, the same way our musicians, Prakash is on the Dolag, everybody's working in unison, everybody has their own job to do. Nobody's senior to anybody else. Excellent. Aditya recently came back from New York, we were missing him. Welcome Aditya. And he brought the fancy thing. And so everybody's complimenting each other. And that has to happen. For anything to work, we have to complement each other and we have to work with each other and do you all know so many greatness so many great things will come out of working with each other can you imagine the one who's supposed to create who's supposed to bring new ideas is in is seeing the one who's supposed to sustain and maintain a difference. Everybody has their own job. And so this is teaching us. They went and they extolled Bhagavan Shiva. Ashatosh Shishanka Shekhar Chandramal Chidambara Koti Koti Pranama Shambhu As the dispute reached a climax and they have exhausted themselves. Bhagavan Shiva appears and he appears as this huge pillar of fire and radiance and into his radiance, into his brightness, 
all the weapons that they had disappeared into it. So then they can't use any weapon against each other anymore. They become powerless. And whenever you're going to go to Bhagwan, how do you go? Become humble. Do you know what is humble? That you can achieve and you can have so many achievements academically, financially, but yet you're a simple person. You're a humble person. Don't take your strength. What strength do we have? Nirbal. Nirbal means become powerless. Nirbal Banjao. Do not go to Bhagwan with your strength, my dear ones. Because what Bhagwan showed us, he took it away from them. They had no weapon to fight anymore. And so, all the weapons were absorbed in that bright pillar of light. And in that blinding radiance, both Brahmadeva and Vishnu, they were astonished. We only think that this is me, Vishnu Bhagwan, and Brahma Deva is only thinking it is him. Where is this light? Where has it come from? They go. Nadi mile sagar me, sagar mile kon se jal me, koi jaane na. They didn't know where did this light come from. And this radiance of Bhagwan Shiva was inexplicable for both. The pillar of light was also a pillar of fire. It appeared to have no beginning and no end. And so, to discover its origin, Vishnu Bhagwan, who wanted to know, became a sweet varha. The Varaha altar of Vishnu Bhagwan, that's in the form of the hog. He went and he started to delve, he started to go to look towards where is the end of this pillar of light. So this is Vishnu Bhagwan. Brahmadeva with a similar quest went up to find the peak of the pillar. Both failed in their mission. And just at that moment when Brahmadev is going to give up. He saw what is called a Ketaki flower falling. And he requested the flower to bear witness to him. Did you all ever do that? Come on, you're in Katha. Have you ever asked somebody to bear witness? And you know it's not true? Yes or no? Shake your head up and down, I look. It's okay, you don't have to do that. As children, sometimes we do it. Hey, tell them a truth. Me seeing in the old two eyes. <laughs> Isn't it so Terry? Isn't it strange sometimes how human beings operate? And so. Brahmadev says you have to bear witness. And he implores the flower to announce that he's seen the peak of the pillar. But why do we do this? Why did Brahmadev ask the flower to bear witness? We want to be superior. And I can conquer. I can become I can let him become subservient to me. Vishnu Bhagwan is going to have to bow to me now because I have the witness that I have reached and I have seen. So we do that sometimes to manipulate. And so this is what he teaches us. And as he requested the flower to bear witness to him, when he will announce that he had seen the peak of the pillar, the flower Ketika and Brahma, they went back to the battlefield and they announced as Vishnu was there and he, was, he did not succeed. And Brahmaji then came to the victory. And he has seen the end. 
And Vishnu Bhagavan accepted defeat and accepted the superiority of Brahma. More than that, Vishnu Bhagavan offered his respect, his honors, and his ministrations to Brahma Deo. Can you all imagine? Isn't it something like that goes on in our world today also? Stay clear of people who are going to bear false witness. Stay clear of your, the companies that you have that are, are not so concretized. Sometimes you and I experience, we have some bad experiences with those who we deal with on a daily basis. And the those who will bear false witness. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Hari Om Namah Shivaya The Maya, the enchantment of Shiv Bhagwan also disappeared. So when Brahmana came and says, Listen, I found, and I have my witness, Bhagwan Vishnu bows to Brahmadev. For a moment when he bows to Brahmadev, the Maya of Bhagwan Shiva was cut. He was not he was not enraptured in a Maya anymore. And so, this ahankar, this mind is an eyeness, because Vishnu now is prostrating himself to Brahman. And all sense of his own superiority has vanished. And so this enchantment disappeared. And Vishnu Bhagavan began repeating the name of Bhagavan Shiva with such an anand. Sat means truth. Chit and anand. Blissfulness and happiness. Om Namah Shiva. Om Namah Shiva. And from the pillar of fire he manifested with one eye on the forehead. In addition to that, there is a two on his face representing the sun and the moon and representing him as this pillar of fire. And so Bhagwan Shiva is going to praise Vishnu Bhagwan. And he's explained and he's described in the ground with his mantle locks of hair, Ali Lakant, that form is visible to Vishnu Bhagwan. And with his mind and heart filled with joy and his body, Vishnu Bhagwan sings the praise of Bhagwan Shiva. And Bhagavan Shiva replied, he says, O Narayan, you have had you done the same thing as Brahma to degrade yourself, to tell a lie. You would have won this contest, but you did not. You didn't stoop so low 
and your adherence to truth pleases me. Truth is eternal. Bhagwan Shiva is telling Vishnu Bhagwan, truth is eternal. Nothing can destroy that which is true. And your adherence to truth pleases me, O Vishnu. And he who seeks the truth is permanent. And hereafter, you'll be worshipped in all the forms. Above and below, and in the middle, in all the creations, O Vishnu, you'll become supreme. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. to prepare ourselves. We have observing this breath of Mahashivratri is something that is necessary. To energize our body, chanting of the mantra is necessary. Can I hear you all? Om Namah Shivaya. You're not putting all your love into it. One, two, Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Hari Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Swaha 
सर्वे सर्वे ओम शांति 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 शंकर भगवान की Tonight, as we come to what we have discussed, become humble, my dear ones. Remove pride and ego. Nirbal Banjao, do not take your strength. Don't go with your strength to Bhagwan. Akinchan Banjao, become powerless in front of Bhagwan. Sadan Deen Heen Banjao. Remove your pride, remove your ego. Chanada Peace Sumit Chena. Become humble like a blade of grass. Sakko mandu. Sakko mandu. Man means respect. Show respect to all. Sakko mandu. Or swayam man machahu. And do not desire for yourself in return. Action, thy duty. Reward, not thy concern. And this is where I leave you all today. Shankar Bhagwan Ki Har Har Mahadev Replied Jai Shri Shankar Har Har Mahadev Har Har Mahadev Har Har Mahadev It's a very open to you now It's just for some few months of Sanfari Bhagwan Bole Nathya Ki Vyas Maharaj Ki Make a motion in my faith Tonight, Vyas, um, I really want to thank you for initiating tonight's proceedings Tonight proceedings leading on to the great night of the observed Mahashivratri So tonight formed the basis or the catalyst for tomorrow and for the big and huge event on Friday and I'm happy that when you can expound and remind us of ourselves and not being pride and not being boastful and not being um, seem to be one or above each other. I remember one, a famous president in the US, Barack Obama, on his last days in office, he went about to all the shops and the streets he walked, apart from his normal duties, and he went and bought coffee, he bought donuts, he bought stuff. Simplicity in an individual. The great Mahatma Gandhi is a perfect example of stature. He led the he led Bharat or India to independence, and he was such a noble and, and simple soul. He went to a conference, and when he went there, people said, "You're not a person because he was dressed in a tie and suit." They're looking for someone who's dressed in a tie and suit, but he had his usual, and he went back. He told them he wanted my clothes, he didn't want me. So our stature, regardless of what it may be or how we may be, we always should have the simplicity, the basics of life. And Pandaji and, and Gyasji, I should say, have your mind us. And tomorrow, as we continue, please come out, please be take this journey. And not this journey of coming to this temple. I always say, take a journey through your minds. Sit, reflect, and look as Pandaji will preach and the cut as you know from before, take the journey through your mind and you'll be enlightened. Friday, we have youth program planned and it will commence from 6 o'clock in one will update you tomorrow as we progress uh, in tomorrow's Qatar. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here and for being in the satsang and joining in this first session of Mahashik Quran Islam. With this, I'd like to invite each and every one of you to stand as we go to close and have
started um, the last time Pandiji Razi Raja Malgoman is here. So in a few days time everything was put in place. And I'm happy that so many of you could have come out. Please invite your friends, your family and come out and be one.